This is another video of Cognos 10.2 tutorials by Bharti Derby Consultancy. In this video, we are going to talk about the drill through report for country heads 2. In the previous video sets, we have seen that the, the report country heads 2 was created and we created some a couple of prompts on country and city and made them cascade. In this we are going to create the drill through report and I am going to rename the, the drill through report as child report country heads 2. And here I am going to create a prompt on city and I am going to include these columns. So let's start creating the report. Go back your report studio make sure you save the previous report so go back to the report studio click on new click on an existing template get your report template and here I am going to first drag and drop the columns so what columns? Country, city, customer name, product category, product type. Let's do that. So country, city, customer name. I can select multiple columns by using the control key and selecting the columns. Product category, product type and drop this on the right side here next from the sales info tab or area query subject get unit cost and unit price and drag and drop it over on this side next I'm gonna set the style as I have done as we have done in the earlier exercises right click style apply table style and select make it more consistent so whatever the style you have used earlier use this so doesn't matter what style you pick uh, I think we used modern so let's use modern again all right next step is to create a prompt on city so I'm going to create a prompt on city same logic go to page explorer click on prompt pages drag and drop the page prompt page go to the toolbox drag and drop the value prompt and give a parameter let's say p underscore city next in the parameterized filter I'm gonna use the city city in I'm gonna use multiple if you use equal to it's going to be a single selection if you use in it's going to be a multiple selection make next I can type query underscore p underscore city so you can see that you follow a method or a or a standard and keep that standard consistent across reports that's how you develop a, a standard reports and when you go to into a support phase the maintenance of the reports would be much easier and easy understandable so create this query and now if I run this report it's gonna be it's gonna ask me cities I want to select a bunch of cities and there you go it's running all right so let's make some changes here 
so first of all I'm gonna add the name of the report here so to do that drag and drop a block right side on the right side of this text drag a text item and give the name so I can copy the name from here and oops all right I'm gonna type here child report country head two and I'm gonna type the label also I'm gonna save this report as child report country heads to so the report has been saved and you can run the report so make sure the report is in working condition all right and now we have to create a link a drill through link from the first report which is country heads 2 to this child report which is child report for country heads so I'm gonna open this report country heads 2 and I'm gonna create a link how to do that click on the body of city column right click on city and say drill through definitions once you have this page click on this new drill through definition and click on here and select the child report for country heads to in the actions you want to run the report or review the most recent version but most likely we'll use run the report and in the format you can select HTML PDF Excel CSV or XML I'm gonna leave it at default next in the open in new window checkbox click on this checkbox and click on edit in this edit you could see this section is divided into two different areas the first area is consisting of these four columns name type required and multi select this is the parameter which is coming from the child report this report so the first four is related to this report and the next three is related to the report which you are in which is your country heads parent report in the method section select you can select data item value or parameter value for now I'm selecting data item value that means the value which you click that data item value would be passed to the next report and what value need to pass you want to pass city so this is how it will work the city parameter from the child report would get data from the city column in this main header or parent report just keep it default for the property click on ok you would see what parameters you have set the value for leave everything as it is and click on ok you can see that the city column is turned into a hyperlink run the report select a country let's say US and I'm gonna select all the cities in US you can see this report mind you this is the parent report and if I click on Chicago it's gonna give me a pop-up 
and this is going to be your child report which is run for Chicago and that's how the drill through works thank you for watching this video in the next video we are going to talk about uh, the reports which are in the project like country head 3 thank you for watching again